Hi folks, my name is Connor McKinney. I'm the Living Landscapes Manager with Ulster Wildlife and I'm here to talk to you about the, what I perceive are the benefits of European membership to not just the United Kingdom as a member state but to Northern Ireland as a region. And that's because of the benefits that it brings to wildlife and the natural environment. The European Union has been responsible for some of the cornerstones of conservation is what we call them. The likes of, of directives so, such as the Habitats Directive, the Water Framework Directive, the Invasive Alien Species Directive. These directives have really framed and will continue to do so um, conservation efforts well into the future. I currently stand on the shores of what is one of the most protected sites in the whole of the European Union. This is the Strangford Lock SAC, the Special Area of Conservation, and it has been designated for a very endangered species known as the horse mussel, which lives in reefs underneath the waves that are currently lapping up against my feet. Now, unfortunately, the vast majority of the reefs underneath these waters were destroyed by unsympathetic fishing practices. It was only after Ulster Wildlife asked the European Union to intervene within the management of this area that progress towards a more sustainable fishing practice and fishing regime of these waters was actually instigated. As such, there are now no tech zones right across this lock that coincide with some of the most important reef areas of horse mussels. And it's not just the Habitats Directive. The Water Framework Directive has also been incredibly important to Northern Ireland. We currently have an obligation from the European Union for 75% of our rivers to meet a good ecological status. Now, unfortunately, Northern Ireland is failing that. We're currently only at 35, but there has been progress made. So much progress, in fact, that we are now seeing kingfish and fishers and otters returning to what is to the River Lagan, which is one of the most urbanized rivers in the whole of Northern Ireland. And it's also important because actually, we are special as a region in that we are the only region that has a border with another member state, that being Republic of Ireland, of course. A lot of our rivers actually help demarcate where that border is. The River Foyle lies not just in the United Kingdom, but also the Republic of Ireland, as does the River Blackwater. Now, these two sites are also special areas of conservation for Atlantic salmon and freshwater crayfish, which means that the Habitats Directive and the Freshwater Direct or Fresh uh, the Water Framework Directive both obligate member states to look after the water quality of those two rivers. This helps the member states to coordinate efforts towards the protection of these habitats. What Europe has also done has been to introduce the Invasive Alien Species Directive. Now, this directive is going to be incredibly important in the future. This directive helps to ensure that member states look after what are, what are some of the most invasive species that we have across the whole of the European Union. This is important in Northern Ireland because, actually, a significant proportion of our protected sites are actually failing in terms of their favourable condition status as a result of the presence of non-native invasive alien species. This directive will help to fix a lot of that. And a simple case study actually is the fact that grey squirrels were initially introduced into Ireland, the island of Ireland, in the south of Ireland, in County Longford. In 1911, six grey squirrels escaped from the area that they were introduced in. Now, fast forward 100 years later, 105 years later, and all of a sudden grey squirrels have moved not just from that estate, but they have moved across two thirds of the island of Ireland, pushing red squirrels into the only habitats that the greys haven't been able to get to. If we had been part of the European Union back in 1911 and we had the Invasive Alien Species Directive, would red squirrels still be everywhere across our landscape? I only hope that whatever decision you make on the 23rd of June, you remember the benefits that European membership has had on the wildlife around us.